In this video, we're going to focus on solving exponential equations in quadratic form. So let's say if we have this function or this equation, e to the 2x minus 5 times e to the x plus 6. Let's say it's equal to 0. What would you do in order to solve for x? Feel free to pause the video and work on this example. Now, we're going to factor the equation, but using substitution. So let's pick a letter. Let's use a, for example. We're going to say a is equal to e to the x. If that's the case, then a squared is e to the 2x. So what we now have is a squared minus 5 times a plus 6 is equal to 0. So we have a trinomial where the leading coefficient is 1. What two numbers multiply to the constant term 6 but add to the middle coefficient negative 5? What two numbers meet those requirements? We know that 2 times 3 is 6, but 2 plus 3 adds up to positive 5. However, negative 2 and negative 3 still multiplies to positive 6, but adds to negative 5. So these are the numbers that we need. So now we can factor it. And it's simply going to be a minus 2 times a minus 3. So now we could set each factor equal to 0. So we could set a minus 2 equal to 0 and a minus 3 equal to 0. So therefore a is equal to 2 and a is equal to 3. Now at this point, what we want to do is we want to replace a with what it, uh, it's equal to, in that case uh, e to the x. So if a is equal to 2, therefore e to the x is also 2. And if a is equal to 3, e to the x is equal to 3. Now let's focus on uh, these two equations that we have below. And it turns out we don't need this either. So if e to the x is equal to 2, what is the value of x? How can we find it? At this point, we need to take the natural log of both sides. So we're going to have the natural log of e to the x is equal to the natural log of 2. A property of natural logs allows you to take the exponent and move it to the front. So ln e to the x is equivalent to x times ln e. And it turns out that the natural log of e is equal to 1. So therefore, x is equal to ln 2. So that's just one of the answers. We also have the other one. If we follow the same process, we could see that x is equal to ln 3. So these are the two answers ln2 and ln3. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and try this example. Let's say if we have e to the 2x minus 3 times e to the x minus 28. Let's say all of that is equal to 0. So go ahead, take a minute, pause the video, work on this example. And then when you finish it, unpause it to see if you have the right answer. Now, just as we did before, we're going to take this middle term, the e to the x part, and set it equal to some variable. In this case, we're going to use a. So we know that a squared is equal to e to the 2x. So therefore, we have the equation a squared minus 3 times a minus 28 is equal to 0. So what two numbers multiply to negative 28 but add to negative 3? 28 is divisible by 2, but 2 and 14 won't give us 3. 28 is also divisible by 4, and 4 and 7 differs by 3. Now one of these have to be negative. So we can use negative 4 and positive 7 
or positive 4 and negative 7, both of which multiplies to negative 28. But 4 plus negative 7 adds to negative 3. So it's going to be a plus 4 times a minus 7. So therefore, a is equal to negative 4, and a is equal to 7. So now let's replace a with e to the x. So therefore, e to the x is equal to negative 4, and e to the x is equal to 7. So let's start with the equation on the right side. Let's take the natural log of both sides. So ln e to the x is equal to the natural log of 7. Next, let's take the exponent, move it to the front. So it's x ln e is equal to ln 7. And the natural log of e is 1. So therefore, x is equal to the natural log of 7. So that's the first answer. What about the second answer? It turns out that e to the x will never equal a negative number. An exponential function can never be negative. If you graph e to the x, it looks like this. It has a horizontal asymptote, which is y equals 0, that's the x-axis, and it's an increasing function. It increases at an increasing rate. So therefore, e to the x is always greater than zero. It's always positive. It never equals zero, and it's never less than zero. So e to the x can never be negative four. And even if you went through the process of solving it, you would probably get this x is equal to ln negative four. If you type in natural log of negative four in your calculator, a math error is gonna come up. And natural logs can never have a negative on the inside. It just doesn't work. So therefore, if you ever have an exponential function equal to a negative number, it's no solution. It's not going to happen. Let's try one more example. Let's say that e to the 4x minus 14 e to the 2x plus 48 is equal to 0. Take a minute, work on this example. So this time we're going to set a equal to e to the 2x. If that's the case, a squared will equal e to the 4x. Whatever this exponent is, you just multiply by 2, since we multiplied 1 by 2. So now we have the expression a squared. minus 14 times a plus 48 is equal to 0. So what two numbers multiplies to positive 48 and add to negative 14? This is negative 8 and negative 6. So therefore, to factor it, it's going to be a minus 8 and a minus 6. So therefore, a is equal to two things, both of which are positive. So a is equal to 8, and a is equal to 6, which means that e to the 2x is equal to 8, and e to the 2x is equal to 6. So now let's solve the first one on the left. Let's take the natural log of both sides. So ln e to the 2x is equal to the natural log of 8. So now we're going to take the 2x and move it to the front. So we're going to have 2x natural log e is equal to the natural log of 8. And the natural log of e is 1, so 2x is equal to ln 8. Therefore, x is equal to ln 8 divided by 2, which we can write it as 1 half natural log of 8. So now let's work on the last example. So 
So let's take the natural log of both sides. And let's move this to the front again. So 2x ln e is equal to ln 6. So 2x is equal to ln 6. And x is 1 half natural log of 6. So here are the two solutions to the equation. By the way, are there any other solutions? Going back to the first example, the first answer where we had uh, e to the 2x is equal to 8. Because we could also do this, we can take the square root of both sides. The square root of e to the 2x is e to the 1x, or simply e to the x. And this will give us plus and minus root 8, which is two answers, negative root 8 and positive root 8. So we already know that this answer won't work. e to the x will never be negative. But now let's focus on this answer. So how can we solve it this way? It's best to write it like this. The square root of 8 is equivalent to 8 raised to the 1 half. Now let's take the natural log of both sides. So we can move the x to the front and the 1 half to the front. So x natural log of e is equal to 1 half natural log of 8. And ln e is 1, so we get the same answer, 1 half ln 8, which you can also write it as ln 8 to the 1 half, or ln square root of 8. All of these answers are the same. 